What's going on guys? T-Mart here and this weekend has finally arrived. It is time for the Call of Duty Championships. Yes, that's right. I am so excited about this, guys. Like, I haven't been this excited in a very long time. This weekend, starting today on Friday and going through Sunday, is gonna be the best weekend of all time for competitive Call of Duty and, you know, kind of just Call of Duty in general. If you like watching Call of Duty, this weekend's gonna be very, very intense. So, as you guys know, this has been going on for a while now. People have been qualifying all over the world for this tournament, and it's finally narrowed down to 32 teams who are playing in Los Angeles this weekend for a million dollars. Yes, that's right, a million dollars playing video games. Now, if you guys want to watch this thing, uh, I don't think it's open to the public. Like I said, it's happening in LA. I'm actually going to be there. I might bring you guys some vlogs and things like that, but I don't think it's open to the public. But you can watch it on Xbox Live. You know, there, there's uh, applications that you can download for your 360 and for your Xbox One to where you can watch it on Xbox Live. Or you can also watch it on MLG.TV, and I'll link that down in the description. So you can watch it all weekend long for free, no problem there. Now, I want to make this video not just to let you guys know about this, because I'm sure a lot of you guys knew about this, but also, I really want to let you guys know how this thing's going to work, because it's not just a simple, like, bracket layout. Like, it's not just straight up March Madness. There's a lot going on here. It's kind of similar to last year, but it's also got some tweaks and stuff, so I want to let you guys know exactly how it's going to work. Now, the first kind of round of playing we're going to have is pool play, and pools are, you know, basically just groups of teams. There are eight of them, and four teams in each pool, and these teams will play each other. Now, uh, going through these teams, I'm not going to list all of them. If you want to see all of like the EU teams, the Australian teams, the Korean teams, things like that, I'll link it down in the description. But as for the American teams in each pool, A has Strictly Business, B has Complexity, C has TK, D has Phase, E has Envy, F has Rise, G has Optic, and H has Xfinity. So if you're a big fan of one of those teams, make sure to be looking out for that pool. Go Envious. But so anyway, uh, like I said, there are four teams per pool, and the first round consists of three matches in each pool. So each team will play the other teams in their pool once. Once that is done, once that's completed, the top two teams from each pool will move on and the bottom two will be eliminated from the tournament. Now, how do they determine which ones are the top two? Well, at first, it's going to be determined by your record in your pool play. So, you know, you're playing three other matches. You have three opportunities to get a win or a loss. If you go 3-0, and like if you beat all three of those other teams, then you're moving on. That's no problem. Now, if there's a weird thing in a pool where teams, like two teams are both 2-1, you know, they've won two games and they've lost one, then it goes to map counts. So, like literally every single map that you've played matters and that's why the action is going to be so intense all weekend long because you don't just want to beat teams like it's probably going to be best of threes you don't just want to win two to one you want to win three to zero you want to win as many maps as possible so everything is going to be super super intense because everything has a million bucks on the line so that's pretty crazy but um Anyway, once that's done, once half the teams have been eliminated, we've left with 16, and we move into a double elimination bracket tournament. So this is kind of something we've seen before, but it's got an interesting twist. How does the seeding work? Like, how are they going to determine who plays who in this? Well, from the pool play, the top team from each pool is going to be grouped together in one large group. So there's going to be eight top teams from each pool in a group, and then they're going to randomly select seeds for those teams, one through eight. And then the second place team from each pool is going to be grouped together in another group of eight, and they're going to be randomly assigned seeds nine through 16. And then it works like a normal tournament, you know, like March Madness, you know, anything else. One plays 16, two plays 15, three plays 14, things like that. You know, you go on down the line. So, uh, again, this is another thing that makes every single match important because you really don't want to be the second best team in your pool. You want to be the best one because if you're the second best team in your pool, the best seed that you can get in the actual big double elimination tournament is a nine seed and that's not really that good now granted you're going to be facing competition no matter what seed you're at even the number one seed is going to have you know tough competition in the number 16 seed but still you're in a much better place if you're the top team in your pool play rather than the second place team in your pool play so again it's super, super, super important to win literally every single match this weekend. So, so it's all it's gonna be really cool. Hey, like, I'm excited about this. They've done a really good job with setting this up to be really, really intense. And then, you know, as you guys know, like I said, it's a double elimination bracket. So the teams play each other, and the teams that lose go down to the the losers bracket, and then they have a chance to come back up and come back into the championship, and they can still win. So you have to lose twice to be out 
in that final, you know, 16-team bracket. So that's how this weekend's going to work. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. It's going to be, I just, I can't even explain how great it's going to be. I'm actually going to be there live. I was there live last year. Last year, the championship match, like the difference between, I think, winning $400,000 or $200,000, so going home, each person with hundred grand or fifty grand, came down to the last map the last play and like the last minute and everybody was just like holding their breath and it was crazy and it was Farico Impact versus Envious. You guys know I'm a big fan of Envious, I'm a part owner of things like that so it was awesome. Unfortunately, Envious wasn't able to come out on top but it was still, it was just like one of the coolest moments of my life. Like it, it, I felt like I was at a sporting event where somebody had a grand slam uh, you know, in the bottom of the ninth to win the World Series. Or, you know, somebody had a buzzer beater to, you know, win the NBA Finals or something like that. So it was it was pretty crazy, and this weekend should be pretty crazy as well. So I can't wait to bring you guys some videos live from the event. Look forward to those. And then also, just, you know, if you have any free time this weekend, or, you know, if you don't, you better make some free time, because this is going to be some of the best competitive Call of Duty you can possibly watch. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't want you guys to miss out. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Let me know what you think about this weekend. Who do you think is going to be in the championship? Who do you think is going to win? And then also, who do you want to win if those are different teams there? So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my YouTube videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out.